Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl. I wish the fucking sun was. I don't want to cooperate, so I gotta move back here. But it's your girl, Jedi Christelle, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Go subscribe right now. If your post notification bell is not on either, what are you doing? Go turn it on so you can be notified every time I post. So in today's video, we're about to do some something a little fun because y'all know since i've been home all weekend i've really been watching like shows on netflix and stuff trying to get myself more like in a way where i'm not trying to go outside and spend money if that makes sense so yeah um these is um basically i wrote down 25 well i didn't i don't think it's 25 but i put 25 i wrote down netflix series or shows like y'all could get into if y'all want to and some of these are like the ones that I think you already I basically watched them already so I could put y'all on a little bit but I'm not trying to ruin it for y'all so I wouldn't even put y'all on I would just tell y'all a little bit about it not really get into it too much in case y'all want to go watch it yourself and if you have any um shows or series or anything y'all want me to watch y'all could comment down below too I would be gladly to do that so we're about to get into it the first one that I put and y'all could binge watch these um too some of these the first one i put is the harder they fall the harder they fall i, rem I remembered it it's actually a good movie and y'all should actually go watch it it's with idris elba and um what's her name kelly washington right i think i think but it's a good movie the movie was actually really good i didn't really like the ending did i like the ending no i did like the ending it was just like one of those old western type of movie thingies like you know i feel like you would like it though because it's like the concept behind the movie was interesting the next one is the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the house. Now this fucking this show, I mean this series blew my because it's like I was really into it and I was really like I was really rooting for her. Like I'm like you know she's not crazy, she's not crazy, she believes what she believes. Y'all, when y'all see the end, y'all gonna be so surprised who she thought was the killer. And it's just like it's the person that you would never guess. I'm not even trying to ruin it for y'all, but it's the person that you would never guess. That's the killer. Like it really, like that blew my. I'm like wow, it was this person like. It was it was just shocking to me. I was just like, wow. Then the next one is I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this is actually really good too. I finished that in one day, and I finished the the last one too in one day. I'm not okay with this. Basically, it's about a teenage teenage girl in high school. You know, she going through it like real life shit type stuff, and it's like she um she has a best friend. She has a best friend, but she thinks she y'all gonna see. I don't want to ruin it for y'all, but basically like you know she like that this movie that movie is just like it shows you how we real life be moving and thinking but it's like we we think it's like i don't know like i don't know that movie that show was like it was like and then like her dad had died or whatever and like he had superpowers or some shit so she ended up well he committed suicide but we don't know i don't know if he, that's really what happened because in the show they keep showing like a shadow following her so that could be her father but i don't know but that show kind of it kind of confused me a little bit but at the same time it was actually a good show i just wish they would have went more in depth with the last episode because the last episode i don't know what the hell happened honestly i was just so confused um the next one is and from the code and from the code i tried watching last night but i was so tired so i ended up falling asleep so i'm gonna try it today and see what that's about uh the stand-ups is basically stand-up comedy like if y'all want to be in a happy mood laugh and stuff the stand-ups y'all should watch the stand-ups it's basically comedy um comedy different comedy um thingies right yeah so like the stand-ups is basically comedy stuff if y'all want to watch it and put yourself in a good mood go watch the stand-up comedies or we'll watch some stand-ups i mean Cadillac Records is a good movie and I didn't really ever get into this movie. I always seen the pre I always seen the scene with Beyonce singing to the white man and then after that he leaves and then his car and then after that he leaves and then he catches a heart attack. I always see the I always see the part where um in the movie where Beyonce is singing to the white man and then after that he leaves and then he catches a heart attack heart attack right before he leaves. The chess record 
like while I was spinning them. Like he literally caught a heart attack before turning the corner. I always seen that part, but I never really watched the movie. Watched it, watched it until like probably yeah, yesterday or something like that. Or like no, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. And I actually really liked it. It's a good liked it, like it, cause liked it is not a word. I actually really like it because it's actually it wasn't really a good movie. And like I don't really watch movies like that. And like it shows you like us women, bro. We <laughs> We put up with a lot of shit and we is strong because when that scene when y'all yeah, watch the movie y'all gonna see a scene where gabriella well she's not her name is not gabriella in the movie but she's holding a baby and she's like yo some girl just brought your baby and then it's like she just he don't care he's drunk he like he don't even know what the hell is going on at this time just go watch the movie because that part is real crazy to me and it really shows you like us females we put up with a lot of shit well not uh, like you don't have to put up with a lot of shit but some females do go through a lot of shit and they don't realize it until like it's too late oh uh, art archie 80 i don't know if i'm saying it right but archie 81 i seen a preview about this and it looked real real interesting but at the same time it looked real, real um, like scary and creepy so i don't know if i wanted to get into the show but i'm gonna try get into the show because i'm telling you how to do it too so i might as well who would i be if i'm telling you how to watch something i don't watch it myself so i'm gonna try to watch it and see if i like it i think this is a netflix series it's not a movie so they have like episodes and stuff so let me know if y'all watch that and let me know if y'all enjoy it Woo, Woo is basically an old movie that I actually never really watched until probably I would say like a couple months ago with um what's her name J Jada Pickett Smith and it's actually a really good movie because it shows how she she able to like it shows her single and then it shows how she could be vulnerable to somebody that she likes and I like that because I feel like Sometimes life will surprise you with people that it puts you and how it makes you react and act with certain things. And like the guy that she was not trying to fall for in the movie, she ended up falling for him, which is crazy. Um, the next one is Red Notice. Red Notice. I don't really remember that, but all I'm getting in my head right now is an image of a girl with red lipstick. Um, I think Red Notice is with Dwayne John, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and that guy. But um, I think that's a spy movie. Let me go on Netflix right now because I'm like, I'm like, I don't got the fucking app on my phone. Like, what the hell is wrong? Red Notice is basically. Yeah, Red Notice is the movie with Dorian the Rock Johnson and, um, yeah, the girl. And yeah, they basically, um, they trying to get, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was right. Red Notice is basically with Dorian the Rock Johnson and they basically, they like spies. Too Hot to Handle is basically a show where Too Hot to Handle is like so cringy to me but at the same time for some reason I like to watch it because it's so funny how the rules like they're so funny how like the it'd be the background person for me like the, you know the people that talk while the show is happening like those people I don't know what they call but it'd be that because it'd be so funny to me because what they be saying about these people about them and like the show itself is cringy and then it's like they make them think that they on a um they make them think that they on an island where they could do whatever they want like like you know touch each other kiss all that but then i don't know where they found out that they can't do none of that because um it's like a little robot thing yeah i forgot her name it's like a little robot thingy that tells them that they can't kiss they can't do none of that and then they start off for like mad money and the, the more they keep doing shit and breaking the rules touching each other kissing it's like they keep losing money losing money this is the first season where they actually lost all their money so if y'all want to go check it out go check it out it's actually really good it's a good show so yeah, I think they started with like two band, no two million or something. They started with two something, but they ended with like they went back down to like zero dollars. But then you know eventually, yeah, just go watch it. You will see. Ozark is Ozark. I feel like not a lot of people can watch Ozark. I can't watch Ozark, but I'm trying to just because the fact that my boyfriend likes it and he he into it, so I want to see what he into. Like I want to see what he like you know like you know. So I'm gonna try to watch Ozark. I did watch like three episodes of the first season. But then I just stopped after that because, I don't know, it wasn't my cup of tea in that moment. But you know, you never know. You could try another time and it might be your cup of tea. All of Us Are Dead is, All of Us Are Dead is basically, I think it's the Asian or Japanese or Chinese. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's one of those films. And basically, I guess, yeah. I don't, I don't really know what's going much in it. Much, I don't even know much about that show, but I know it's... It's top three right now on Netflix, so that means a lot of people probably like it. So if anything, you might like it too. So if you want to, you can go check it out. Sweet Mang Manjalos, Manjalas, 
Sima Jealous is, I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but I, I seen it and it looked a little, you know, interesting. It, I think it's like what, um, hold on, let me go on Netflix because I forgot what this one is about. Sweet Mandela. Oh yeah, man, 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 man. sweet mom not lost. I can't even say the word. But this is apparently season two. So if I was to watch this, I would have to start from season one. Basically, lifelong friends Maddie, Helen, and Diana Sue lift each other up as they juggle relationships, family, and career in a small southern town. Okay, so basically, you know, southern town life, wife, house things, housewife things, all that. Raising Dion is a good show too. Um, Raising Dion is coming out February 1st. So I, wait, what's today? Today's not February 1st. Today's the 31st, I bet. Raising Dion is coming out basically February 1st, which is tomorrow, I think. Raising Dion is about a kid. It's like a mom and he struggles. To, she, okay, so I'm gonna read it. It says, widow mom Nicholas struggles to raise her only child, Dylan, not knowing that the second grader possessed power beyond anybody behind any any anyone comprehension basically he could like it's something with his mind he could do something with his mind where like his mind makes him do anything and it's so crazy yeah okay. i got a couple more left and then that's really it um good girls i said good girls already army of thieves good show i like i think it was a movie actually it was a movie let me make double check army of thief yeah army okay so you gotta watch basically i gotta watch it's three one it's three of them you gotta watch creating an army of the dead you gotta watch army of the dead and you gotta watch army of the thieves okay so it's basically i don't know which one comes first but it's basically like an order to it in a way but i'm not sure like which one comes first um the next one i put is in the dark with the blind girl and the dog the blind girl and then she had like a relationship with some kid and then he ended up dying and then she tried to like find out who killed him and everything basically that's like the whole what the whole show is about and not what the whole show is about that's not what the whole show is about but that's how like the first season that's what the first season is mainly about is her trying to find out who killed the boy and everything after that i put the end of the fucking world that's a good show i love that show me and my boyfriend watch it we finished watching it i can't wait until it comes back on the end of the fucking world but yeah, yeah i just went through the list i'm done those are the ones i have so far if y'all have any any good shows or series i love netflix series too like i'll be here watching it all the time like i mean i'll be here watching it if y'all put me on like i'll literally like watch it like just put me on and i'll watch it so yeah I just wanted to put y'all on real quick. Hopefully this helps y'all. Even, even like especially at nighttime when y'all trying to look for something to watch, or like during the day when you're trying to look for something to watch. Hopefully you could come back to this video and be like, All right, let me figure out what she's saying so I can know what to put on, you know. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Jedi Christelle. And yeah, later y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Taking it away, I'm just each feels in an everyday. I don't wanna